Nars going fleet footwork, by the way. Interesting. Might be my first time seeing a Narth fleet. Maybe not. Maybe I have seen that. The last second PTA proc. Am I going to build Wardens into anything else besides Trin? Um, only if it looks, like, really good for the game. If they have, like, really heavy AD auto attackers. But yeah, in terms of the matchup, maybe, m mainly just Trin to me. Did my shotgun get the cannon? I'm not sure. Ooh. I think we still have him though, maybe? Okay, nice. <laughs> Jumped right into my shotgun. Love to see it. I'm just uh, using my E flash to get in range. Now that's the nice thing about missing E flash though, like at least you're still getting in range. All right, our TP. I believe he still has flash. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess not. Did he really use Flash? I don't remember. He definitely would have flashed there, so I guess he had to have. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. I don't remember that. Nice, we get a steel cap and a long sword. That's a really good first back against Nair. Good against Jarvan too. Steel cap is gonna be super good here. Happy to see you streaming. Thank you, Golden Knees. Welcome, dude. Welcome, Noxious. How much HP does Evergrowth give versus HP Minor Rune? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about versus the Rune. Like the HP Minor. I can't remember how much HP that gives. I know it's based on your level. But uh, Evergrowth, I usually get about like 200 HP from per game, at least. Depends on like how long the game is, obviously. Between 200 and 300 HP from Evergrowth, I would say. I've gotten like 400 and 500 before, though. I've gotten 500 against Yarek, because it works against his ghouls. Ooh, class. One thing that I always try to do against Nart is go for that EN right as their Mega's running out. And even if they're looking for a W, W, you can just buffer it with your E. A lot, a lot of NAR players will try to do that. They'll try to like trade right before their Mega goes out. And you can sometimes cheese out a kill. I 
just got a control ward down. What a nice jungle we have this game. He also slapped a controller down for me. An ally has been slain. Ooh, that's rough. Hope the games are good. Thank you, dude. Yeah, they've been good so far. We've only played one. But uh, first game was good. Usually when my first game goes good, it's kind of a it's kind of a good sign. I've noticed. Well, I don't know. I've noticed when my first game goes bad, usually the day goes kind of bad, I feel like. Dang, he's not falling for it anymore. I've done it twice to this guy, so he might be adapting. Panic. Where will they run when the whole city burns? All right, getting a little bit too aggressive, I guess. right into the max range E. Got my E coming back. Dude, that was Gore Drinker too. That was actually really close. Oh, you can bounce off these minions. I gotta be kind of careful. I think we'll just try to get XP on that cannon. Actually... I kind of like the yellow trinket until the lane phase actually ends. Then it's kind of nice to have the blue one. Wait, we have Diana support? Oh wait, never mind. My team did a friggin' three-way swap, wow. That means we definitely had some autofills this game. I wonder if they do too. Our matchup is tough. It kind of is, yeah. It's always tough to get like a big lead in. Wow. I was just gonna go for a quick little trade there. I didn't think I could kill without my grinder. He's building really greedy.
Well, he's building damage. He should be going defensive. I'm gonna go key max this game for sure. Second. Try to help me press my lead versus the Nair. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I never thought Nar was a champion that could really, like, solo carry. But the last Nar that I played against actually did solo carry the game. It's like the first Nar that I've seen actually solo carry. Oh, he's a goner. He fell for this really simple trick that I do versus range champs where I, I turn back before I E. So it makes them run into me if I'm running away. I do that like right before my E. So many players fall for that. Dude, honestly, I kind of want to stay. Actually, never mind. Oh, yeah, this is fun. I wasn't sure about the math on that for the tie, Matt. Team looks like they're doing a pretty good job. Their Zaya is doing really well, though. And Zaya is very good against her gut. actually kind of close. Yeah, with Cleaver Spike, I can kind of just run him over now. The movement speed from Cleaver feels really nice in this situation. If I land Q, he kind of just dies right now in the matchup. I got three levels on that guy. Just had to wait for the E. Against Fizz, you usually have to wait for him to E. Oh my god, he just flashed into my E again. Holy moly, dude. I feel a little bit bad for this guy, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little bit bad. He's actually getting like pretty unlucky with these flashes. You literally flash it if I eat twice now, man. Holy moly. Alright, 1530 Titanic Cleaver combo. Q Max second too, man. My Q's gonna hit like a truck right now. Play worse so they buff Urgot instead of nerfing him. Hey man, I've been playing pretty bad the past week. I got you covered in that. Okay, now he's just mad. He is not happy anymore. Honestly, really rare that this happens versus Nari. It's a hard lane to like really, really win. Oh, 
Aditi is on the line. I was going to try to go for a pull there. I maybe could have committed on the bard more. No, he's not supposed to be good. You've been enjoying Maokai a lot, been winning a lot. Are you playing Maokai top take take? I haven't seen a Maokai top in so long. I don't know. I feel like he can't be that bad. I played versus Maokai top a few months ago, and one thing that I noticed was it seemed like he was having mana problems. I imagine that's probably like the big downside, especially if you play for someone with sustain. Like that was against Urgot. I wasn't. I didn't even have that much sustain. I used to play Maokai top back in the day, though, like season four. It was actually one of my main champs. It was really fun at the time. That's when I really enjoyed playing tanks. Jeez, I'm so strong right now, man. Level 14. My mid laner is level 10, by the way. Trying to get her with the Titanic spread damage. I am missing my E flashes this game, though. Kind of annoying. But we're making up for it. Hey, welcome, rookie. Oh, man. I probably shouldn't have used my E to buffer the Bard ulti there. Sometimes it's kind of just reflex. Definitely a Prowler's game, by the way. If I get this fed, I really just want the Lethality and the Gap Close, too. Just so I can actually, like, get to people. I think in a game like this, dude, let's see... Fizz is kind of fed. Doesn't really have that good a farm, though. I think I could get away with, like, an Edge of Night, maybe. That sounds good against uh, Fizz as well. What is Urgot's worst matchup, in your opinion? I think Vayne. Vayne and Heimerdinger, I think, are the worst. I am very, very thankful that people don't play Heimerdinger this season for some reason. That champ is so good against Ergot, man. Hey, thanks for the three months, by the way, Hellsmoker. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, Lowie's a really tough line. Alawi is one of those matchups where it's a tough lane, but I don't mind the game versus Alawi. At least if we're able to team fight. I should just TP actually. I shouldn't even use my E. I could just kill that guy with an auto attack. Sometimes with Lethality Urga, it's like not worth it to E or ulti just because of that time spent. Like you can literally kill somebody with your shotguns in that time, you know? Sometimes.
Yeah, true, their timers are pretty short. How did my name come about? I got it from StarCraft, the Goliath unit. And then at the time I played a lot of different games and I was actually gonna be, I was planning on being a variety streamer. But uh, ended up just playing League. When I first started my streaming channel, I did play a little bit of variety. I am not taking that one. But yeah, the game that got me really into gaming was StarCraft. The very first StarCraft. I mostly played versus the AI though. I didn't really play online back in the day that much. Wait, Nars TPing? Okay, I'll go top here. Don't really need all five people for drag. They're probably not going to contest it anyway. It feels really bad leaving with 1,400 gold. Oh yeah, dude, the StarCraft AI was actually super good. You know, I was also like pretty young, young at the time and probably like not that good at the game. But for being a kid, the AI was actually brutal. Wow, that movement speed that he gets in the transition. I found him. Oh, dude, he's gonna portal. That's a crazy thing about those Alcos with Bard. He can actually do a crazy portal. Felt like we did our job in that team fight. No, they're all spawning. Nice GG. Who is constantly pinging? I'm not sure. When people ping the Nexus, I don't think it shiz. Yeah, that game felt really good. I think a big part of the reason why I was able to kind of snowball was the jungle. Wow, yeah, 23k damage. Almost 1k damage per minute, dude. That feels really good. Nice little S plus for that game. We kept our CS high, too. If you keep your CS high while you're also getting fed, you just like, you literally just feel like a raid boss every single time. Freed by Jade. 